Hello everyone and welcome back to Microdate Canada's Toddler Tutorials. In our first session we talked about some of the most fundamental features of Winbox, the router OS management utility. If you're completely new to Winbox, we recommend that you check out our previous tutorial as well. In this session we want to talk about a few other basics of the main Winbox interface and see how we can make our very first connection to a Microtech device. In the previous session, we briefly mentioned the two tabs of Neighbors and Managed. As you can see, the Neighbors tab is showing all the devices currently connected to my network. And my Managed tab is still completely empty since I have not yet chosen a device. Here you can see different aspects of all connected devices, including MAC address, IP address, identity, version, board, and their uptime. Your devices can be categorized based on each aspect and categorization can be toggled on and off by clicking on Show Categories. You can find all the available columns here, which also include the type of your devices, which is based on their IP version. Moreover, you can choose to see either IPv4 or IPv6 devices from this small drop-down menu above. On the left-hand side, you have the sorting filters that give you the ability to filter your connected devices based on these available columns. If you wish, you can add several filters at once and find certain devices based on a combination of filters and their specific values. In order to separate the devices that we're managing from other equipment on the network, we need to add them to our Manage tab using the Add slash Set button. To do so, simply click on a device's MAC address. You will see that the same MAC address will appear in the Connect To field. Remember that the default login username for most marketing devices is the word Admin, and they do not have a password the first time you use them. After clicking on your device of choice, you only need to click on the add slash set button to add the device to the manage tab. You can see that my intended device can now be found in the manage tabs list. Before connecting to our device, let's check out a couple of other basic features. We talked about the advanced mode and the legacy mode in the first session. The next option we have here is the zoom feature. By clicking on zoom in, you can increase the size of the text so that it is more convenient to read. Similarly, in case you have too much text and rows in one window, you can zoom out so that all the text fits in your screen. You can also see the hotkeys for zooming here. Next, we have the import export feature. As you can see, we already have a device listed in the Manage tab. By clicking on Export, we can save this device list as a WinBox or a WX file on the computer. Now, in case we clear the Manage tab, we can easily use the Import feature to add that device back to our Manage Devices list. The important thing to remember is that we have two options, namely Export and export without passwords. Such WX files can be opened via a text editor. And in case I use the export feature, the login information of my device, especially the password, can be extracted. In case I had set a password for this device, which we certainly will once we connect to it, the password would be easily visible here. Therefore, in case you're going to keep a WX file for a long period of time, make sure you use the export without passwords in order to ensure the security of your device. In addition, the other features under the Tools menu include Move Sessions folder that enables you to move the session folder destination where your sessions are saved, you have the clear cache option that obviously clears the cached information on Winbox. You have check for updates that is used to update Winbox itself 
which we talked about in our first session. And you also have the show credits button that gives you a pop-up with all the information about Winbox's copyrights, disclaimers, and developers. To connect to our device, we have three other features in the main Winbox interface. The first one is a key password feature. If checked, this feature will save the password in the password field, which you have entered to connect to your device. You can use this feature when you are configuring your device so that you do not have to enter your password repeatedly. The second option is the autosave option, which, as the name suggests, will automatically save your session for easy access in the future. And the third option, which is unchecked by default, is open in new window. We recommend that you check this box before connecting to your device, because by doing so, the main Winbox interface will not close once you have connected to your device. This feature helps you avoid opening Winbox again and again during your configurations. Now, to connect to your hardware, you can either use the MAC address or the IP address of your device. In other words, you have the option of using the MAC Winbox mode or the IP Winbox mode. However, at first, since you do not have a preset IP address on your computer that corresponds with the device's IP address, you will have to use the MAC address for your first connection to any MicroTik hardware. Thus, simply click on your hardware's MAC address, put in the word admin as the username without any passwords, and click on connect. This is what you will see the very first time you connect to a Microtech device. As you can see, Microtech devices come with a default configuration. Microtech suggests three crucial steps before making any configurations, which are 1. Securing your device with a strong password, 2. Upgrading the router OS to the latest available version, and 3. Setting up a firewall in case you're active on an untrusted network. We will talk about these important steps in the next session. Here, you can see the default configuration of your device, including the WAN port and its firewall, the interfaces of your device, as well as its LAN and WAN configurations. You have three choices. You can either remove the default configuration and set up the device from scratch, read all the scripts created for this default configuration, or simply accept the default configuration of the device by clicking on OK. Also, as you can see, the main Winbox interface is still open in the background as we checked the Open in New Window box before connecting to our hardware. Thank you very much for bearing with us. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. We would love to hear from you, so leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Also, if you have found this tutorial useful, follow our series as we will continuously create new sessions for every aspect of Winbox and RouterOS. Take care and stay tuned.